am going to take you through Once Upon a Child in Virginia Beach. I just went here today and I was searching for a pair of shorts for my daughter. She's kind of slender, so it's hard to buy her shorts um, in some of the stores because they're either too short because we have to get them in a smaller size to fit her waist, or if we buy them in her size, they're falling off her waist and sometimes the adjustable insides with the elastic kind of irritate her skin. So of course, being a parent, if you're watching this video, you know sometimes your kids can get picky. And this is a good place to take those kids because if they're old enough to understand that this is their size, they can kind of pick through themselves. Um, I've actually had a good experience bringing my daughter here recently and I let her look through everything in her size and it's all organized by the color within the type of clothing within the size. So you can see like I'm walking by the size sevens and there's all the shorts. So that makes it really easy. Or if you're looking for a long sleeve shirt, for example, and I've had some really good luck coming in here. If I needed something specific in a color, I was in and out of here faster than going into Target, for example, and just hoping that they had a red skirt at holiday time. Um, I like the fact that um, they have everything, you know, so well organized. They have the shoes in one area done by size and they have the clothes by size. Um, they also sell other items. They sell a lot of baby items, like for example, high chairs or like the little saucers that they sit in to play. They have toys on the back wall. Um, they even have some new items that aren't resale. Um, a lot of people like to come in here and sell their gently used items. Um, I will tell you they want them in a bin or a box, like a plastic tub, and they want them laying flat if it's clothing. Um, they won't let you bring anything in here in bags. Thankfully, I checked before I um, resold, but I did um, overhear a couple of people. They, they got asked to bring their things back a certain way. I think it's so they can keep it well organized and um, probably things don't get as wrinkly that way. I would think so too. Um, they ask that your clothes don't have any unusual odors or pet hair. They need to be um, freshly washed. Um, they don't accept everything. I've brought clothes that I thought were in great condition, not a lot of wear and tear, and still got rejected. Um, when you ask them, they don't usually give you something real specific unless it's a stain that you didn't see. They have really bright lights, um, so they're possibly going to see a stain that's not something you would have seen under your lights at home. Um, they won't take anything like with pilling on it, for example. However, I will say, um, shopping in here, I have found one or two shirts um, that I was thinking, hmm, they accepted that? That's unusual. Somebody must have been having um, a tired day. Maybe they, their glasses were dirty or something like that. Um, but yeah, their standards are typically pretty high. Um, they say that things are up to 70% off retail. So granted, not everything you find in here is going to be a bargain. For example, I saw a pair of shorts today that were just like the simple cotton um, stretchy biker shorts that you would buy in Target. Um, they were $3.50 here. They're like maybe five bucks on a given day at Target. So that wasn't like a huge savings. Obviously, if there was a sale, probably wouldn't have been that much better. But a lot of things that I have found that had really good prices were the dressy dresses. So obviously, if you have a girl, you'd save significant money instead of going into Macy's, for example, and paying, you know, 30 or $40 for a, a fancy dress. Um, you get it for much less here. Um, obviously, the brands do matter. For example, my daughter likes Justice and I don't mind that because those clothes typically fit her better, um, but you're going to find a better price in this store for something gently used. And let's face it, jeans don't wear out that quickly um, unless kids are super rough on them. So you can typically find, you know, a pair of jean shorts like I was looking for today. Um, I think I paid $8.50 for a pair of Justice jean shorts. They looked like they were in really good condition. I had didn't have a problem with that because I know unless I'd had an awesome coupon and there had been a sale, I really couldn't have got them cheaper, brand new. Um, they do have some new things, like, for example, these gloves. They were all brand new. Those look like some good snowball making gloves. Um, maybe we'll get some snow this year. They have tons of stuff, um, newborn size all the way up to, I want to say it's like 16 or 18. I'll double check that and put a notation at the end. So you can have clothing for a baby. You can have clothing for your teen. 
and it's all organized. It's really easy to find. That's probably the number one reason I shop here. And I think that uh, they have a rewards program. Actually, um, I know they have a rewards program because every time you sell to them, you um, amass points. And when you get to a certain point level, they'll give you a coupon like $5 off 25. Um, and if you sell real often, you'll get more coupons. They do have a sign up where you can get a coupon texted to you. Um, and you have to say yes to receive it. Typically, they're all over um, the weekend time frames. So, for example, this weekend, they had a discount, additional discount off the tags on jeans. Well, didn't count for jean shorts. It didn't do me any good. And it wasn't towards any other items. So those boots I bought, I paid $6.54. I thought that was a good price for some rain boots that my daughter could also uh, wear in the huge amount of snow <laughs> that we get here in Virginia Beach um, if she just put some thick socks in them. I hate to buy snow boots because we really don't get snow in this area. So I enjoy coming in here and browsing. I've had some good experiences um, bringing my daughter in and actually letting her pick out her clothes. She doesn't have to get disappointed. For example, we've been in Target before and she loved a shirt, but they didn't have a 7-8. They only had a four or five and here you're not going to find that as long as you're sticking within your size. Um, I've had some good luck with shoes too. Um, I found some cute sandals here before for I think five dollars and my daughter wore them all summer and they were adorable. Um, so maybe you want to check it out and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will give it a like and if you subscribe to my channel you would enjoy some other videos i've made of i've had lots of parks that i've featured in virginia beach and i'm also thinking i'm going to go review um, another children's resale store um, called kid teak it's over by lynn haven mall and um i know it's newer so i want to go over there and check check that out i do want to say one last thing when you resale here, it's a same day process, meaning if you take your items in at 10 a.m., you have to be back to accept the offer that they're giving you um, and take back the items if they didn't buy all of your items the same day. So don't try to get in here at 630 when they're closing at 7 because um, they're probably going to turn you away. And also, if you have errands thrown in the area, drop your stuff off first because depending on how busy they are, it might take an hour for them to look through your stuff or it might take a couple of hours um that is the only thing that i don't love is you just have to be really particular and make sure that you allow yourself plenty of time um, to get your items looked at so you can't really rely on running back home for example unless you live close so just one little tip for you all right i hope you enjoyed it bye